Okay, it's got the E-Flight Convergence VTOL. I'm purposely doing this in my neighborhood to show how easy this thing is to well not really easy it, it does take some skill but basically the ability to fly it in your neighborhood I mean it's a plane that you can fly in your neighborhood with the the vertical takeoff and landing with the multi-rotor mode that really helps so you're gonna need your transmitter I prefer a 2600 milliamp hour battery this is a 30C Admiral it's 3S I love these batteries. I always prefer Venom, but these are priced good, and the veterans, uh, United States veterans, make these. So when you buy these, you're actually putting money in veterans' pockets. Some people don't like vets because they went to war, but guess what? Those people fought for your freedom. But I'm not going to get political. Let's get to this. So. Of course, you always turn your transmitter on first. Transmitter's on, make sure you're on the right channel. Get this off. I'm not a joystick type of person where you hold it like this. I use my thumbs. With the setup guide, it actually says to use 25% Expo on one thing, 15% on another. I personally don't like using Expo because it makes the... It makes everything feel a little spongy so I don't use Expo on anything uh, I haven't put the velcro tape on this yet but one thing you're really gonna want to do is put some velcro inside where the battery goes so the battery so you're in flight your weight your center of gravity won't shift so of course you put your battery in first Push it all the way to the nose. I will say this doesn't, I haven't flown it as a plane yet, but I do know, I have flown it as a, in a plane. Uh, I took it above the trees and actually I almost wrecked it. I flew it that way uh, and it got away from me. It's a very fast plane and there was a very strong tailwind. Now what I like to do is since this wire is a little long and I really don't have a lot of room at the back, I twist this cable so it'll sort of curl up on itself. Grab the power. These will go to the motor pods, will go to a 45 degree angle, and then when they go back up, you're armed. So, right now, you can actually see. Oh, wait, I started it with a. Uh, throttle are already up so so you have to if there's any power any sort of uh control going to it when you turn it on it won't even uh throttle up well spool up because uh, safety and then i always use the low voltage protector meter uh it's very loud and you can really hear it and when i'm flying it i have no problem hearing this and i use this on my helicopters i haven't done any reviews on my uh my Alline 450 and I talked about that, but I really, there's a lot of people that's already done reviews of it. So now I plug in my low voltage protector. See, that beep is very loud. So I make sure all the batteries are good. This is a freshly charged battery. And in the first video, I'm not using the uh, S-Bus type receiver. I'm actually using a AR610 receiver with DSMX technology so that spread spread spectrum technology make sure that magnet in the back is grabbing now I'll hit the switch so you can actually see what it does when it goes into uh, airplane mode make sure both your 
if you're going to do this on the ground, make sure your propellers are correct. But as soon as you hit the uh, mix switch, it it's timed. It'll when you're actually going into this mode, it'll throttle up when it goes 75% to get it going forward, and then it'll point all the way down. And remember, those are Metal Gear servos, but I'll be getting better, probably faster and higher torque small servos. So now I'm going to demonstrate the flight, the characteristics, how it flies, and uh, I'll even go into turn AS3X off, the safe mode, and show how it flies without the, the thing to help. So, you will notice that it does always drift forward. Right now I'm pulling back on the aileron stick, which controls the See, I'm, I've let go now, and it's drifting forward, and I have a little bit of a side wind. But overall, very easy to fly. The rudder is very responsive, which it doesn't have rudder. It actually just, right now, the motors just go different directions. Let's see if I can do a quick little speed run just to show how fast it goes. Even in this mode. back on the stick oh no get up when I pull back on the stick it actually goes up because the propellers aren't trying to create any forward momentum they're doing nothing but hovering like right now I'm just bringing it back to myself and personally if I can my height and catch it 
to make sure I don't hit the ground and nothing gets up in the motors or anything to damage it. But also remember, you can get a, uh, I'm getting the tactic drone view to put in here. And uh, if you have a uh, receiver with an extra channel, you can actually control that from, you can actually control turning on everything without the Wi-Fi. You can actually use a separate channel. This is a seven channel radio, so I can use my seventh channel to start recording and stop recording. It's only Wi-Fi. I know a lot of people prefer 5.8 gigahertz or 2.4, I think. Video is usually 5.8 gigahertz. But you also have, since I have better light, you can see right there it says FPV. That's where you can mount your uh, VX, your video transmitter. And then you can have a ground base or you can have some goggles. The Spectrum setup for this is, I believe, $125. And you'll have FPV. And then all you have to do is buy, uh, I'm looking at the Esheen Wizard 220. And once I get the Spectrum set up, all I have to do is buy a camera. And, uh, of course, the uh, video transmitter. But I think the Spectrum, uh, I think the Spectrum camera comes with a uh, transmitter. And I will say, you these gear, these spec, these servos do work a lot. I mean, they're non-stop making noise. That's why I'm going to put some better gears, probably some Savox. Uh, micro servo servos in it so I know that they're better servos their name brand there's all Savox really does is make servos they make some other things but the only servos I buy and use when I'm buying aftermarket is Savox I've used one high-tech it was the ultra torque and it actually completely blacked out on me I had it on my Baja just as throttle and uh, throttle and brake I hit the brake, then I went to give it gas, it, it had died. So I stay away from high tech and I always go Savox. So that's it for this video. I hope if you like it, give me a thumbs up and this will not be the last video with this. I will be doing uh, a flight video, putting it in plane mode, but I can't do that here. I'll have to go, to, it'll, today is Christmas Eve, December 24th. Merry Christmas everyone. But uh, next up will be uh, a plane video going into plane mode I'll be going to a field and then start upgrading servos so that's it for this video peace